Hello, Bame Farm fans. We catch the black chicken out in the wild roaming about the farm. She's been the farm's free range chicken oh, for a couple weeks now. She actually, she's probably been the free range chicken for at least a month. Shiloh, are you gonna help the problem? And for some reason, she wants to lay an egg in this calf hutch. Except the little free Martin in here that we just put in two days ago wants to play and the hen just wants to lay an egg and she's been in and out jumping over this fence there she's coming back out she's been jumping over the fence in and out in and out and i'm trying not to uh interfere too much i just want to catch this on video so how do they do it on all these nature channels or nature shows don't look at me forget about me i'm not here yes chicken forget about me and she'll stand there and she'll look She'll do a loop around. She's looking up. She's the calf. And she'll do a loop around the hutch. Back there. And usually she'll walk through right here and jump back in. Tell us how you really feel, little Miss Free Martin. This calf was twin to the bull calf in the next hutch. She only has a 10% viability for reproduction. She doesn't seem too happy. She's a little curious. Maybe we can get a close-up view. Go full Steve Irwin. Good thing neither of these animals are that dangerous or deadly. Of course, I saw this little calf really whip out the leg this morning and give a good kick. How you doing, Miss Hen? Don't pay attention to me. Are you gonna squeeze out that egg? It's two ladies in here together, at least. Good thing you didn't pick a bull calf. Uh-oh. That was the wrong move. Don't tell me about it. Tell her she's invading your privacy. Can't lay down in your own hutch without her laying an egg. <coughs> fight, fight, fight. We don't endorse animal fighting here, but that head wants a place to lay the egg. And that poor calf just wants a bottle. The calf has already been fed this morning. So, it's unsure what to do about a small two-legged animal. It's like it's the big two-legged animals that feed the calves. And for more side narration while we're here, somebody's going to ask, why are the calves in hutches? Well, why are we staying home during this uh, virus outbreak? Exactly, social isolation. We, would ha we use less antibiotics this way by keeping the calves separated so that they cannot touch each other and pass along germs. Their immune system is a little weak. They did get colostrum, yet it helps to keep them separated. That way if one gets sick, the rest won't get sick. And they're only in these cozy hutches for two months until they're weaned. And then they get to go spend the rest of their life with the other cows. And really cows is a improper term because we only have boys, we have steers. They were boys, except for this one
free martin here. She is a heifer on the outside and possibly on the inside, but she won't be functional because of uh, the male hormones take over in a bovine womb. Well, there goes the hen again. What will you do? Will you lay your egg? And this could go on for a while. I'm debating how much longer to film. But then we will come back whenever we find an egg. Uh, if she lays it in there, I'm afraid the calf may step on it. Good thing this hen doesn't like cozying up to the pigs, because I know the pigs may get a little too frisky and fresh and try to eat the poor hen. Don't look at me. Pretend I'm not here. I'm just the cameraman. What you gonna do when you lay an egg? Let her lay her egg. Just you two ladies in here, chilling. Now, if all goes well, the hen will probably be there at least 10 to 15 minutes pushing out an egg. It takes a little bit of concentration, which is hard to do when you have an audience. Now, if everybody can lay down together, oh, we're all going to get along. Maybe. My presence doesn't help the situation. Yeah, if you could all get along. You ate, and you're not hungry. Don't pester her. Now look what you did. We're going to have a nice cozy moment. And you had to go getting all curious. My presence probably doesn't help the uh, the heifer's attitude. She's going to go back in. We're going for a second attempt. Oh. I'm still on my magnetic mount, so I have no way to put this inside the hutch. But as long as the, the chicken doesn't seem to mind my presence, I'm far enough away. It's the calf that's ruining everything. Right in the corner there, in the darkness, is the hen. The calf is not looking. Will this be the opportune time to lay the egg? As we see, calm is setting in over the hutch. The heifer has laid down for the most aww, cute moment. Everybody's gonna get along. And there's the hen. Like I said, this could take 10 to 15 minutes, so I'm not going to film her laying the egg. I believe I've put out a video before of a hen popping out an egg. And I'm sure there will be more because I have so many chickens, it's easy to, to catch them when they're laying. So we'll get back to you and see if she left, leaves an egg in that position. But my presence is going to make the heifer want to get up again. So we're gonna leave, everybody in peace, lay your egg. We are back at the calf hutch. That's time to see if there's an egg. Got a quick sneak in since we're not gonna jump over this like the chicken did. Swing the gate open. Come inside. How are you doing? You're still laying there where we left you. And we look in the corner and Oh, holy cow. Okay, this has been a multiple day occurrence, apparently. I found two eggs. And you didn't step on them. Good job. So the hen's been doing this for more than one day. At least two days, because we found two eggs. What do you think of that? You share your home with a chicken. Hey, don't, don't give me that look. I don't put her in here. It's all on you. You don't kick her out. Well, we will catch you guys later with more fun farming action.